Hey everyone, welcome back to Betty's Odd Treasures. Today we're gonna to be making a lamp. Yes, I said a lamp. And I'm going to use buttons and jewelry to put inside of it. I've also seen these made with shells inside. But what I'm going to be doing today, I'll show you step by step. You will need a ball jar like this and a lid for the ball jar. That's where we put the electrical lamp kit into. You can pick these up at your hardware stores. And it's very easy to make, and this way you have your treasuries and your little memories that you can keep forever. This is a ball jar that you can get at any of your grocery stores and just a regular ball lid that I have used to make my lamp. Now, what I do is I take either buttons or jewelry, all kinds of different little treasures and put into my jar. I'm putting all of these pearls in. And if I ever want to wear them, all I have to do is open up the lamp and go in and get them. And let's see, let's have some buttons. Here is the buttons that we'll be putting in. They add a lot of bright colors and they're mom's buttons and I, that way I remember my mom and have special memories. Okay, and it, look at this brooch, isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to put it in as well. Whoops, it turned over. I want it on the side so it'll be pretty there. Yeah, I'll get back over on the side, there we go. I got a a lot of brooches. The, uh, these, I think, were my aunt's. But they will make it really pretty in here, too. Some rings. Another brooch. Did you see that? Yeah, that's pretty, too. More buttons. Okay, and then I even thought some of these little spools might be nice. These are really old. I go up into my sister's attic or my mother's attic and we find all of these antique things and I just can't throw them away. So I save them and put them in items like this. And you will be seeing, if you watch my YouTubes, that I always recycle all of these nice antique finds. That's probably enough of those. Here comes another pearl necklace in. Ooh, look at this one. This one's nice because he's silvery and shiny. He'll be good in there. This is what it looks like so far. And I'm going to be adding more buttons because I like to have it pretty full. And this is a good way to store your buttons as well. See the handfuls of buttons that I'm putting in? My mother would sew buttons back on, but I don't. Can you imagine just who wore these, had these buttons on their clothes before and who wore all of these pretty little buttons? Anyway, I know, I get carried away. Here are some more spools that I can put in to help fill it up. This little spool don't have any thread on him, but he'll be okay. And more buttons. This is what the jar looks like now, all filled with all the jewelry and the buttons. So next we're going to add the lid to it. Now to put the light on the lamp, you will need to go to your hardware store. This is called a lamp kit. This is the socket that you screw your light bulb in and then you can just put it here. Important thing though to remember is you've got to get a wire that comes out the side of your sockets because that way you don't have to have a, a hole in the jar. Now this little guy has a strange name. He's called a pipe nipple. And the, the threads on that, that's what holds the lamp socket all together. So now we're ready to put it on our lamp. And all you have to do is put it on there and screw on your jar top. You might notice that my lid's a little different than I showed you. I found an antique lid that I wanted to use on mine. So you could use antique lids or a regular ball lid. 
Now the next thing we need to do is put a shade on it. And I have this cute little shade and I really like it for the simple reason that this here is called crochet lace. My mother made this and she would put it on our pillowcases. I was from a large family and we didn't have much, but mother always tried to make things very pretty. And with this pretty lace, I decided to use it on my lampshade. Now we're gonna put the lampshade on and plug the lamp in. See how cute? And you've got all those memories forever. And here's the lamp all plugged in, ready to use. And it didn't take us very long to make this. I hope you will enjoy, and for years to come, all the little memories. And please tune in to Betty's Odd Treasures, because I will be making a lot more. Thank you very much.